Hello students, I welcome to you my English class. Let's learn grammar today. In this video, I am going to talk about perfect tenses. What is perfect tense? Let's discuss. In English, there are three verb forms that are used to refer to completed actions. These are formed using the perfect aspect and can be considered as complete tenses. Since they are used to refer to completed actions or conditions, the word perfect literally means done completely or made complete. Let's read the example. It has struck 10. The clock tells us time and here the clock already said that it is already 10 o'clock. So, the sentence is in perfect tense and what is the structure of perfect tense? Subject then according to the subject either has or have then past participle form of the main verb. There are three perfect tenses in English. The following diagram shows you all forms of them. Perfect tenses present, past, future. Present is also having two types present perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Future, future perfect, future perfect, continuous. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about present perfect tense, its structure and usage. Now what is this present perfect tense? Present perfect tense refers to an action or event that started at some time in the past, was completed not much before the time of speaking and the impact of which is retained at the time of speaking. Example, they have finished their preparation for exams. So, exam is knocking at the door and their preparation for the exam just now completed. So, here to express this feeling, present perfect tense is used. Let's read the second sentence. They have visited Singapore recently. They recently came back from Singapore. Now, let's learn the usage of present perfect tense where we should use present perfect tense. Present perfect tense is used to refer to a completed action in the past that has some relevance to or connection with the present. That means the action started in the past but it is connected to the present. Let's learn with the example. I have known you since my childhood and still I know you. So, I have known you. It is in present perfect tense. Once again, I would like to remind you what is the structure of present perfect tense. Subject, then according to the subject has or have, then third form or past participle form of the verb. Then, Present perfect tense is used to refer to an indefinite action in the past when the exact time or other details are not given. Let's read the example. Have you been to this place before? No specific time in the past is mentioned here. The effect of the action in terms of enthusiasm etc. being hinted at. Again, where we can use present perfect tense, we can use present perfect tense for an action that ended just before the time of speaking. For example, Perna has broken the vase. So, just she has broken the vase. That is the, that incident already over but the effect is there. Again for news, we can use present perfect tense. Let's read the example. The financial budget has allocated funds for rural housing. So, this is the news which is written in present perfect tense. Again, a repeated action that continues till the present time can be expressed through present perfect tense. She has practiced her role several times before this. Now also she is practicing but before also she practiced. So, here we can use present perfect tense. Again, a mental action in progress that started in the past and has continued. Let's learn with the example. He has always joined his responsibility. 
sorry he has always enjoyed his responsibility as the class captain the act of enjoying started when he was given the responsibility in the past and he still enjoys it now here is question for you from your book let's check whether we have learned or you have learned correctly or not try to answer correctly complete the sentences below using the words in the brackets in their present perfect forms once again i remind you present perfect form is has or have then the third form of the main verb first sentence i not see the movies the half blood prince yet so what will be the answer done let's check your answer i have not seen the movie the half blood prince yes yet question or question sentence 2 my neighbor riya and i know each other since 1994 so here no verb is given no and uh, subject i so my not i riya and i riya and riya and i means plural number so with plural number we'll be using have I know you have done correctly now check your answer my neighbor riya and i have known each other since 1994 then gina's aunt is a famous film maker she make five films till now she is subject so with she has or have i know you have done correctly she has then the third form of the verb make will be made she has made five films till now coming to number 4 she received the best film award for one of her films she has received yes check it she has received the best film award for one of her films sentence 5 i write five letters to you but you have replied to none so with i has or have yes students it will be have i have then third form of the verb write written i have written five letters to you but you have replied to none number 6 your daughter has grown so tall in last three years number 7 i not see shima in a long time do it do it and done now check your answer i have not seen sina shima in a long time number 8 i heard that she do very well in her final examinations i heard that she yes students i know you have done correctly now check your answer she has done very well in her final examinations here is the structure of present perfect tense means the sentence structure of present perfect tense in affirmative sentence if the subject is i you they then auxiliary verb will be have and main verb in its third form were if the subject he she it or rakesh then has auxiliary verb and main verb were in negative sentence if subject is i you they then haven't worked and if subject is he she it rina then auxiliary verb hasn't worked again yes no interrogative in yes no interrogative first will be the auxiliary verb that is has subject he then main verb read has he read has he read negative interrogative hasn't he read wh interrogative what has he read so this i hope this table will help you to understand the structure in present perfect tense here is a question from your book only and the question is choose the correct option question sentences are given you have to choose the correct option and for that you have to know the usage of present perfect tense first sentence is when this office options are did you join have you joined did you ever join which option is correct according to you done now see when have you joined this office because joining taken place and still he is in that office so present perfect tense that was the best film that i have ever seen or i ever saw 
I did ever see which option is correct according to you. Now check your answer. I have ever seen. That was the best film that I have ever seen. Coming to sentence C. It is difficult to believe that she, a movie, did not watch, has never watched, wasn't watching. Which one is correct option? I know you have done correctly. Now check your answer. It is difficult to believe that she has never watched a movie. Coming to D. In a meeting with the principal last evening. Here in this sentence last evening is clear indication of past time. So we cannot use here present tense or present perfect tense. So we have to choose the option that is past tense. So option number one. I was in a meeting with the principal last evening. Sentence E. Taxi phase last January. So where? Reduced, have reduced or reduced. Then but increased against this month. Do it. Now check it. Taxi fares were reduced last January but have increased again this month. Sentence F. My father, this house last year. Last year means once again past time clearly indicated. So I, we cannot go for present perfect tense. What option we have to choose here? It will be past tense. My father built this house last year. I hope you have understood. Now coming to the next part that is another set of question here. Complete the following dialogue between two persons about a common friend with the past and present perfect of the given verbs. So, verbs are given, we have to use them correctly either in past tense or in present perfect tense. So, again we have to know the usage of present perfect tense and also the past tense. First speaker is Aruna. You meet Naresh recently. Aruna is asking whom? Najib. Now, what uh, tends to be used? Have you met Naresh recently? Najib is answering no. I haven't seen him. But I spoke to him a week ago in the market. Aruna is saying, I too have not seen him for long. Najib is asking, where has he gone? Aruna is saying, I have heard that he has flown to the Andamans. Najib is saying, I have not, I have been to Chennai several times but I have not been to the Andamans. So these are the conversations between the two and I hope you have understood the usage and uh, of usage of present perfect tense. Now it's time for home assignment. So here in home assignment I suggest you to learn the structure and usage of present perfect tense and to watch the presentation again to clear your doubts. Thank you students.